So in many RVs, truck campers, trailers, and even boats, growing mold underneath your mattress is a very real threat. We are gonna show you the easiest way to prevent mold and increase airflow underneath your mattress for your RV. Plus, we're gonna show you how it's gonna cost $200 less than the alternative. So there are four situations where you definitely want to be using a bed mat. First of all, if you are living or traveling in an RV, a trailer, a camper, a truck camper, a boat, anything that has walls against your mattress where airflow is not going to be getting underneath, you definitely want to be adding in a mattress underlayment or a bed pad. Now, if you are using a memory foam or a latex mattress, again, those are really, really dense mattresses. Air doesn't essentially go through those very well at all. So you wanna be sure to have that layer underneath that you can have airflow going through. Third, if you are living or traveling to or storing your RV in a humid situation, especially if you're doing a lot of camping by a lake, uh, maybe Pacific Northwest, in the South, especially in Florida, you definitely need a bed mat or something underneath your mattress to improve airflow. All of those high humidity situations are going to cause way more moisture in your rig that is going to really increase the chances of you having mold growing. And then finally, if you use propane heat a lot, propane heat adds in more moisture into your rig. And so in an already humid situation, because RVs are known for ne not necessarily being the driest environments, if you're gonna add in propane heat and add in even more, more moisture, you're definitely gonna wanna be using a bed mat or something underneath your mattress to improve airflow. So we chose our Coyer bed mats for several reasons. Let's go inside and check those out and I'll explain more. All right, so what is a bed mat? Well, our Coyer bed mat is simply an inch thick mat that is made out of coconut husks and natural latex. And it does sound weird, but it does work. Those coconut husks, those brown, like um, really hard fibers outside, can be softened and sterilized and then spun into a rope. That rope is then turned into the bed mat and then a little bit of natural latex is added to keep it together and just a little bit of cushiony support. Now, no, it doesn't smell like coconuts in here from using the Coyer bed mat, so you don't have to worry about that either. And simply because it is a solid mat, it will support your mattress. However, the fibers are far enough apart that plenty of airflow can go underneath and keep mold at bay underneath your bed. So does this work like the Froley system? And the answer is yes, kind of. A lot of our beers are using a Froley system to add more support to their factory installed mattresses and to improve airflow. We looked into the Froley system as well and we didn't go with that for a variety of reasons. First of all, it was the cost. By using our Coyer bed mats, we saved um, nearly $200 doing it this way compared to doing the Froley system. Now we are not trying to use our factory installed mattress in the RV, which generally they're really, really bad mattresses. In our case, it was a slab of polyurethane foam, which is not a mattress at all. It's just a slab of foam. So we're not trying to patch, so to speak, a mattress that is already inside our RV and try to make it more comfortable by putting it on a spring system. 
we actually are just putting in a much better mattress and we'll have a video on that later. So I think a lot of people are trying to make a really bad mattress more comfortable by putting it on that spring system, which is fine. Um, but for us, that wasn't the option that we wanted to go with. We also like the fact that the Coir bed mats are all natural and they're not a bunch of plastic pieces that we don't have to install them. Um, simply all you do is take your bed mat, put it on the platform and unroll it and it is done. That is all you have to do to install it. Where the Froley system, it doesn't take a whole lot of time but you do have to snap together a lot of pieces. And in our situation using a queen size bed, it would have been um, like well over 120 pieces to snap together. So those are the reasons why we chose a Coyer bed mat rather than the Froley system. They do work in the same way in that they both improve airflow underneath your mattress. The Froley system does have a bit more cushioning and springs. So if you have a bad mattress that you're trying to make more comfortable, that might be a better alternative for you. But ours, bed mats still has plenty of support and a little bit of spring to it so it does still add a little bit of cushiony softness and definitely the support that we need under whatever mattress we're putting in here. All right so how much does a coir bed mat cost? Well we chose to add two bed mats to our RV based on a recommendation that for highly humid environments that you use two inches of underlayment rather than one. We chose our bed mat from Savvy Rest and a queen size currently is $179. And compare that to the Froley systems which start about, I think it's about 398 for a queen size and went up to about 472 depending on which model that you chose. And so even buying two for us, it was cheaper than doing the Froley system just in comparison. Now the good news is, is that we have a coupon code that you can use for any Savvy Rest product, um, including the bed mats that they have, but they have pillows and sheets and mattresses and bed toppers, all kinds of things. So if you want to save 20% off of your own bed mat, you can use the code GETGREEN. And again, that'll give you 20% off of everything. I am an affiliate for Savvy Rest because I love their products so much. So I might make a small commission off of your purchase, but you are actually saving way more money um, by using my coupon code. You're definitely not gonna be charged anymore. So be sure to use the referral link in the description below in conjunction with that coupon code to get those savings. Now with the 20% off coupon code, your bed mats will be roughly around $143 each right now and that is current pricing. Again, add two of those together and it's still well under the Froley system cost. And that is why we chose the bed mats too, because we wanted to save some money. All right, so to wrap things up, do you have to have a bed mat underneath your mattress and in between the bed platform? No, you don't have to. You can go out RVing right now, never put in a bed mat and, and be okay. Over the long term, and if you plan on traveling to a lot of humid environments, it's definitely something that you might want to look into, or I won't even say might, I will say you definitely want to look into, because the cost of having to replace a mattress and do any mold remediation inside your rig, camper, or boat, um, whatever you're choosing these systems for, is going to be way, way higher than the cost of any bed mat that you are going to put in into your rig. It's definitely just one of those things that you want to invest in this just to be safe and to not have any of those mold problems. So we again chose two. You can choose one and just start with there if you want. Super easy to install. We're going to have the links below and if you're wondering about what type of mattress we're going to be putting on top of our bed mats, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we are gonna have that video coming soon. Again, that's another cost saving alternative of how we are customizing a mattress um, that works for us in our RV. So be sure that you're subscribed, ring that bell notification if you'd like to be given a notification of when that is posted. And we do hope that you leave something in the comments below. Let us know if you have a bed mat or a system underneath and if it works well for you. Take care everybody, bye.